Alright guys, how are you guys doing today? Did I say guys multiple times? Yes I did, and I apologize for that, so let me start over. Hello everyone, my name is Wonderbread, and today I am playing the God of War E3 demo. Okay, so now this one starts the exact same way as the God of War 3 demo started... God of War E3 demo started in 2009. This is God of War Ascension. So it's supposed to be before, uh, it's supposed to be before the God of War 1. So it's a prequel. Now, first off, let me say, guys, this game is absolutely gorgeous. It is straight up beautiful. The graphics are so crisp, it is insane. It looks better than God of War 3, which is saying a lot because God of War 3 looks insanely good. And I think it might even be I don't know, this is a close one between this, this best graphics on PS3, or best graphics in general, uh, between this one and between uh, Uncharted 3, because those two are absolutely insane. But anyways, let's not talk about the graphics. Let's talk about the new stuff that they have in God of War Ascension. And what's really going on with God of War Ascension right now? So, as you guys can see, the, the special attacks, like, I am just freaking booking up everything so fast. It's all so fast. So, um, there's, they added this new thing where you can pick up weapons, which I really like because it didn't get boring using the, you know, the blades of Athena, like, all the time. But, you know what I mean, like, or not blades of Athena, blades of chaos, I think they're called. And they added this new, like, little indicator light to when a person's ready to be torn apart, I guess. Um, there's a red one, and there's also a white one, which you'll see. And it's like when they're stunned. You can stun them, and they get, become stunned, and then they're white. See, this one's red, that means about them, they're gonna die. And then the other one, the white one's too, like, you can press R1, and you can grab them and throw them. And that's also a new feature they added, is, um, you press R1, and you can see the blue right now. Uh, you press R1 and it he connects it. You saw me do it earlier. He connects this blade with the guy, and it just like hold them, and then with the other blade, oh, right there, I kind of did it. And you can just like hit him with another blade. All this stuff. Really cool. That's new. That's magic. That I, did. I have no idea what magic is. There's no story in the demo, but watch this execution. It is insane. Oh, I cut off his legs. Gross. That is nasty. Um, so they obviously did not hold back on the, um, the gruesome. Yeah, I guess like the brutality. They did not hold back on the brutality. And as you can see, um, there's blood that gets all over. Dang it. Oh, it's still there. Okay, sorry. The video went over. Um, there's blood that gets all over Kratos, and that's a really good feature. They had that in God of War 3 also, but they, they obviously they have it back in the um, I watched an interview talk about it. And he was saying that, holy crap, he was saying that um, God of War 3 was like a new engine, so they were still getting used to it. This one, they, I guess like perfected it, perfected it, that's not a word. Perfected. I was trying to say mastered and perfected together, so perfected it. Oh, that works. Whatever. Who cares? So then there's this cool, as you guys see right there. That's this this new relic thing that you get, and you can reheal things. It's kind of like if you guys played what was that game made by Raven? You guys know what I'm talking about? Where you could like if thing was something was broken, you could like bring it back to life and time warp that one thing. Or if something was uh, what is that called? I can't remember the game. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. But anyways, you're just healing stuff back that's broken. So that's a cool thing. What god you're going to get that from, I have no idea. And also you could tell Kratos is uh, not, not skinny by any means. He's still absolutely a monster. But he is uh, just not as built. In God of War 3, he, I mean, every muscle, he is absolutely insane. In this one... Still is, but I mean, he's way faster. He lost. I guess. What is it? Oh, I just did that thing now. Some of you guys know. R1. Um, so. There's also this new physical attack, which is circle. Oh, that was so cool. The circle, and he just like kicks him. Which is very cool. So what else was I talking about? I was talking about. Um, oh, yeah. So I guess he's leaner. 
Kratos is leaning, so it's all everything so fast. And the third one, I think he was like more powerful because he was so strong. In the third one. And I'm a big fan of IGN and uh, in the podcast beyond. If you guys don't know what that is, it is a it's a podcast by IGN. And if you don't know what IGN is, it's uh, basically like machinima. Um, basically like you know, they just like do reviews games stuff like that and they do podcasts and there's a playstation podcast it's a one downloaded podcast playstation podcast on the internet and it is called podcast beyond and it's with the ign crew of gray miller uh shoot what is the other guy's name sometimes gold farm i don't know, andrew gold farm another editor and then uh oh my gosh how am i blanking on this other guy's name uh colin uh colin moriarty that's the other guy. So they have a really good podcast. And anyways, that was kind of a long story to get to what I wanted to talk about. Ooh. Um. See, actually, Kratos' packs are not as built as they are in the other As in God of War. So uh, what was I talking about? I was talking about Colin. Oh, yeah. So, Podcast Beyond. Anyways, Podcast Beyond. Really cool. I'll leave in the description. In the description if you guys want to listen to it. Really cool podcast. Um, anyways. So, Colin was... I mean, basically, not just Colin... For E3, this is a really cool demo. They talked, I mean, it, nobody nobody was talking about it. For whatever reason, nobody was talking about God of War. Now, why is that? Maybe because it's like an, oh, another prequel. I don't know, or maybe because it's just another God of War. But I don't know why people are not more stoked for God of War. God of War is probably one of my favorite, favorite franchises, especially on the PS3 for sure, for sure. Besides like Infamous, I love Infamous, I love Uncharted, obviously. What else? I like Little Blue Planet. It's pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, God of War is just really fun. People say the like, the reason why I was talking about Podcast Beyond is because one of the guys in there named Colin, like I told you, he is kind of tired of the story of God of War because Kratos is always so mad. Which I, I understand that, but I, you know, I just think, you know, with all the Greek gods, it's really, I don't know, it's just like really cool to me. Uh, and Kratos is just an absolute beast, monster of a human being, just an absolute hoss, and these, this guy is really difficult, I'm over it, he's crazy cool, look at, look at that concept art, look at the character art, that's crazy, and then the multiplayer, it was a pretty controversial that they have multiplayer in God of War, it's like the new thing is the multiplayer, I'm tell you guys, I, uh, if you guys want to play multiplayer, you have to sign up for IGN Prime. Uh, if you guys want to do that, I'll get some links in the description for that too. There's so many links in the description, man. Um, so yeah, but there's a multiplayer beta right now. It's closed, but there's gonna be it's gonna be open. I'm gonna leave. I'll have another video for that, but it's gonna be open on January 15th. I don't know. There's too many game release dates. I gotta check to make sure, but it's sometime in January. For, for PlayStation Plus users. And you're going to be able to get into that. But the multiplayer, it's fun. I mean, it's really fun. It's not something that... Um, I don't know. I haven't played enough of it yet. It's just it's just hard, I guess, to say. Because people have been playing this for a while because the beta came out, I think, like two weeks ago. Closed beta came out. And so I just got into it yesterday, and I'm just getting my butt whooped most of the time. But then I played a free-for-all match, because there's two modes. Team mode, there's a team domination sort of thing, and then there's a free-for-all mode. And that mode was crazy, and I won once. So I'll, I'll, have, I'll have videos of that, though, obviously, uh, in the description of the annotations on the screen at the end of the video. So you guys can come in and watch those. Multiplayer is, it's pretty cool. It's, uh, there's a lot of depth to it and all that stuff. But anyways, let's talk about this uh, demo. So this demo is almost over, but look at this, this elephant dude. He is crazy cool. <laughs> Sorry, I need water. Oh no, he grabbed me. Oh, I'm just trying to the ribs. Thanks, pal. Expensive bill. Oh, I, I got Obamacare, son. <laughs> um, look at that, how cool that was. Why does nobody, why is no one so stoked for this game like I am? See, so yeah, I look so small compared to this. Oh, that magic is so cool. And also with, I love the new counter. It looks like 5, 6, 7, it looks really cool. This is so nasty. This is so nasty. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ah, uh, watch out. 
Ow. Oh, it's about to get nasty. It's about to get nasty. Oh, gross. Oh, that was disgusting. Oh, my gosh, dude. This guy. Is he, is he, is he making whiskey? <laughs> you guys know that whiskey that they have? What was that? Like the. At least the dragon. Oh, crap. Oh, shoot. So that's the end of the demo, guys. Oh, my ear itches. That's the end of the demo. It's a really cool demo. I didn't talk about how I got it. Okay, it's going to be over, and I'll just show you pictures of Kratos right now. But I got the demo through, if you buy Total Recall, I'm not sure about on DVD or Blu-ray. I don't know. I just bought it on Blu-ray because that's what I have anyways. But I bought it on Blu-ray, um, and you get the demo with it. So it's pretty cool. Uh <sighs> Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Really cool demo. I don't know why more people aren't talking about it, but it's a really cool demo. Really cool game. Can't wait for it. It's coming out in March. Blah, 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 blah. The multiplayer beta footage will be in the description and on the annotations right now on the screen. Do work, son. Much love, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Deuces.